at least July, or September, July and September, I tried to get a permit to raise the Christian flag and you see yeah. flying yeah. out here uh, on City Hall Plaza. It was about seven years ago we raised the Gadsden flag, and the flag that you see here was the one we actually raised on City Hall Plaza. It's four yeah. by eight. And we had Pastor Garrett Lear with us. Some of you mm -hmm. might know Garrett Lear. He was an instructor. He passed away in January. He was six foot seven in his stocking feet. And he always wore when we came on when he was doing presentations. He wore what they called the Black Robe Regiment mm -hmm. outfit. Oh yeah. He yeah. didn't buy his outfit at I Party. This was you know <laughs> custom made stuff. And when you're six foot seven, you can't just go to the That's cutout there and get it right. <laughs> and he brought his firing musket to downtown Bar. Oh, it was oh, wow. a great day. And we had our ceremony. We raised the gas and flag. It flew there for about a whole week, and no problem. Wow. So it was in, uh, I was actually, what motivated me is an inner city pastor, Bruce Wall, <coughs> invited me to participate in a prayer meeting at the mayor's office, at the time Walsh. Walsh was nowhere to be found. When people are praying, he's gone. He wasn't sponsoring it, but, so we're in his, what do you call it, anti-chamber before his actual inner, inner, uh, inner office. Good morning. And there were blacks, Hispanics, even a few whites, Asians. We all prayed for the city. We didn't pray for elections. We just said... Pray for protection, pray for the mayor, the city. That's what Christians are called to do. Amen, and amen. I thought, this is really good. I said, I think we need to go a little bit beyond this. So my thought was to have raised the Christian flag around Constitution Day. We all know what day that is, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. 17th. 17th. All right. I know I can't, I couldn't get that by you guys. And we were going to have Reverend Kraft talk about the need for racial Christians to be involved in racial reconciliation. We were going to have a pastor from uh, Western Massachusetts, originally from the South Sudan, talking about the blessings as a U.S. citizen. There's a guy that was tortured. He was on his way to be executed. And he was able to escape into the jungle. And he's a wonderful guy, uh, William Levy. Um, oh, oh, Nehemiah Ministry. Nehemiah Ministry. So check him out. On. And we were going to have Richard Howell, our, our historian, talk about Boston's rich Christian history. You know, it was John Winthrop. He gave a sermon on the Arbella, the ship that he came on. And he said, We're a city set upon a hill. Gee, where did he get that yes. from? <laughs> yeah. and, and then all the way to Pope John Paul's yes. visit, the first pulpit, yes, yes. and there's actually a monument commemorating John Paul. If you walk through Boston Common and Boston Guard, which I did, I did a video of it, it's rich in Christian history. You yes. can't deny it. Yes, it is. Yes, yes, it is. Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But the same mm. city that flies the flag of communist China, communist Cuba, rainbow flag, yeah. transgender mm. flags, and by the way, it's illegal to fly a flag of a foreign nation on city, state, or municipal property, mm. unless there's an official dignitary there in an official capacity. Right. Yeah. Well, that's right. never happened. The times they flew, they flew the Chinese flag bad enough that they fly it. The oh city permits a private group, a communist group, but the city officials participate in the celebration of the takeover of China by the communists, oh, wow. which resulted in murders and mayhem so and, yes. and the mess we're in today. There's Wuhan virus. Mm -hmm. So if it was nipped in the butt, it wouldn't happen. Uh, so anyway, um, and the suit is, uh, so what happened was they denied the permit, and initially it was based on the separation of church and state, which is not in the First no, Amendment anyway. No, it's not. I said I need an official response. I need a letter or something. And they sent me an email, and in the city email was an embedded, uh, the city seal. Well, it had a Bible verse on it. Because <laughs> it's in Latin, you know, but I, I know a little enough well, Latin to get by. Mm -hmm. And wow. not only that, but uh, the city's flag, same flag, same seal, the, the, the Bible verse. So uh, I sent out a news release, and not one local media outlet could care us. Of course. You know, yeah. If I was a, some left-wing group and I was denied the flag, I'd be on the front page of it. Oh, of course. Yeah. So anyway, a friend of mine, Lynn Roberts, some of you know Lynn. Uh, mm -hmm. She's the one that's been gun, uh, gun giving some gun safety courses yeah. in, in mm -hmm. Edith. Um, she said, get a hold of Liberty Council. So I did. It was like 10 o'clock at night. I emailed them, and with the, the next morning, they said, we're going to take your case. And wow. if, uh, we got media coverage from all over the world. Every time you get a media, you usually get a couple of death threats. I, I, really, I didn't get any the last round. I'm kind of disappointed, you know? <laughs> we're just not working. We have 18 left-wing groups wow. that filed amicus briefs against us. Oh, right? Right, yeah, I said, only 18? I'm offended. Yes. Come on. At least 30. You know? Exactly. So uh, anyway, it's been in and out. It's been in, in, in court. The, 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 the initial suit was eight, July of 18, and we had to actually leave camp 
to go to the courthouse, right? Oh. The lady, that, the judge that presided the case was an Obama appointee, so we knew he probably wouldn't get justice. Oh, She's the same one that dealt with Whitey Bulger. Mm -hmm. She probably oh, gave wow. him more justice than we got, right? Yeah. Anyway, um, it is now heading really? to the U.S. Supreme Court. It was actually hand-delivered right to the, the court Supreme Court just oh, last week. And we pray that they will take the case down. and that we so will win the case. Yeah. And that you can indeed fight City mm. Hall. Point but we've already, we've already yeah. succeeded in some mm -hmm. respects. We've proven mm -hmm. that the city of Boston mm -hmm. accepts mm -hmm. government speech by communists, but not by mm -hmm. Christians. Yeah. So so at that point, I'm, in, uh, I'm going to invite... Um, uh, Mr. John Hugo, he is the founder of yeah. Simply Happy Fun America, yeah. <laughs> and we have to say that our Christian flag lawsuit kind of motivated them, so he actually gives me credit for being, uh, I don't know, the spiritual, spiritual founder? founder, and I don't know yes. if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but I'll take it, because he's a good man, so. Amen.